everybody. We we are going to do the star today, and this is one of my favourite star cards um, in that I've seen. It's so um, like a fairy, an elf. That's what it reminds me of. And there's all kinds of creatures, dragonflies, butterflies, coming out of Pandora's box. And here we've got the star with the the light and an, an angel or a fairy-like figure coming out and the story and the meaning of this card goes like this the card of the star portrays a beautiful young woman with long fair hair kneeling before an open chest from the chest uh, a noxious swarm of fly creatures rise filling the air with darkness but the young woman's eyes are fixed on a bright star which hovers above her within which can be seen a female figure in glowing white robes it looks a bit like an angel if you ask me Pandora is like Eve and woman it is the feminine side of the human nature feeling instinct imagination intuition which must probe for the truth despite the consequences and here we've got a little bit of water reflecting so this um, is the uh, resonation of uh, intuition uh, imagination wishing uh, goals uh, also uh, I feel this has got to do with water the element of water because we were guided by the stars, we navigated by the stars when we were on the sea. Then we go on to the explanation of the insects, unlike warmer, the insects, unlike warmer blooded creatures, are far from human consciousness and relationship. We cannot communicate with them, but we are stung and good at by nature itself. The chest, now we're going on to the chest, which Zeus sent to mankind with Pandora, is like the apple of the golden garden of Eden, something which is forbidden yet impossible to resist. It contains knowledge of the reality of human life, which means the death of naivety and childlike fantasy, yet it also contains the most precious attribute of the human spirit. So this is the end of na being naive. The you will, if you listen to the story, then you n will understand. Uh, Pandora's box was given by Zeus to mankind, as it says, but he had put things, negative things, into it, and. Uh, it was the temptation uh, will I open it or shan't I open it like uh, Eve at the apple in the Garden of Eden so here we go with the story here we meet Pandora who in myth opened the chest which Zeus had maliciously given to mankind and released all the spites after the Titan Prometheus had stolen the sacred fire of the gods to give to mankind. The king of the gods resolved to, in conflict, s uh, severe punishments on the human race, which culminated in the great flood described in the card of the hanged man. Before this flood, however, his anger was more subtle. Although not yet satisfied, Zeus ordered Hethos, the smith gold god the smith god to fashion clay and water into a body to give it vital force and human voice and to make a virgin whose dazzling beauty would equal that of immoral goddesses all the divinities heaped their special gifts on this new creature it sounds a little bit like um, Sleeping Beauty and the Witch and the Face. That's the modern version of it, I think. 
all the divinities heaped their special gifts on this new creature who received the name Pandora. Her niece, however, put perfi perfidy into Pandora's heart and lies in her mouth. This woman Zeus sent to Ep Epimoth's brother of Prometheus, along with a great chest, but Amethius, have, having been warned by his brother to accept no gifts of Zeus, respect respectfully excluded himself. However, having seen the terrible vengeance which the king of the gods then inflicted upon Prothmaeus, Ethmetus, whose name means hind, hind sight, heightened sight, hastened to marry Pandora. Prometheus, before he was seized and imprisoned on his lonely mountain, and that's the hanged man, the mountain peak, managed to warn Epidemus not to touch the chest, and Epidemus conveyed this warning to Pandora with frightening threats, but Hepatitis, Hepatitis, I can't, these jaw-breaking names, had made Pandora as foolish, mischievous, and idle as she was beautiful. Presently she opened the lid of the chest, and the terrible afflictions which Zeus had gathered, old age, labor, sickness, insanity, vice, and passion, escaped and spread over the earth, infecting the whole of mankind. Hope alone, which had somehow got locked into the chest, didn't fly away. So, where there is life, there is hope, and that's perhaps where the saying came from. It does go on for a little bit more, and then it goes into the explanation, an explanation of the card, but I have my own, uh, I've done research on it and I've got my own explanation and I've written it down so I'm going to read that now the star calls in inspiration hope light and all that is bright it shines in the night offering you guidance and clarity this card speaks of a path that you can trust trusting in your light and turning everything over to the universe to work out the details it also refers to self-awareness, self-assurance and self-love. It speaks to the spirit and the connection within. The spirit is the light at the end of the tunnel. Yes, victory. You are shining bright. So this card means victory and you're shining bright, you're in the spotlight and yes, your wish will come true. The star card, sh when the star card shows up, to let you know that your inspiration has been ignited. You may have noticed the fog lifting. You may be feeling the excitement growing. Your creative energy is activated and has been placed in higher gear. Get out there and get going and get things done. Do whatever it takes to make you come alive. This card is confirming that you are on the right path and you will find that you what you will seek. Through the darkness you have found your way. The star provides the light and you see what you are meant to see. Take action on what you know how to do and to turn the rest over to the divine. Trust that the universe will handle the details. You do not have to control everything or know how it will all play out. You need only know that everything will turn out alright as it is unfolding. Right in front of your eyes for your best interests. Water the seeds and they will grow. Nourish and care for yourself and your world and remember to love yourself in the way in which you want to be loved. Let your light shine as its brightest. The star card also speaks 
to your understanding and acceptance of yourself exactly as you are now it reminds you that you are whole complete perfect right now as you are you are required to take action but also to find the balance of remembering that everything is as it should be at this moment that you have everything you need within you and around you you need not look outside yourself for answers stay connected to your inner self your angels and know that you are on the right path the veils are lifting now more than ever the cloudiness you felt is no more and you see the big picture you know that there is no wrong way that all paths are leading you to your goal or home so follow your heart sweet soul and let your light shine okay so just be aware that this this is um, I love the story because like it says the hanged man you're hanging upside down you see trying to see things from a different per perspectives perspective and um, meditating take time out and that is what you've done now you've come all these steps and you've you've had the um, the hanged man then you've had the devil the temptations you've had the tower uh, things are changing and your wishes are going to come into fulfillment and that is how these, these last cards are flowing into the story and that is how we have our life's path as well and that's where the um, saying comes from try and try again or stand up dust yourself off and continue let it unfold naturally we have to be patient this card also uh, represents Aquarius and that's most probably because the star is in the air and Aquarius is the second house and um, no sorry Aquarius is the uh, 11th house and so you are coming to fulfillment uh, you're nearing the end of a face and uh, air and Aquarius is air so yeah this is also a very spiritual card in that concept that look after yourself within and without get to know yourself and then you can take the next step and also ask the cosmos the divine and the angels to help you it's like I usually say with the nine of swords and the nine of uh, wands lay your uh, worries next to your clothes at night because a nine is an ending and you can always pick them up the next day but perhaps the divine and the angels have already gotten a solution for you because nine is an ending and where there is an ending there's a beginning and the star is also a new beginning I hope you have enjoyed this uh, version uh, of the uh, star and the explanation of the star and I hope you stay safe and well and have a beautiful day thank you just an, um, a note um, Aquarius is the 11th house in the zodiac but the third house in the air and we'll come back to that when we're doing the minor arcana because and also the, the the aspects of the nine of swords and the nine of wands because that's when you have to also retreat and pull back and that's an ending and where there is an ending there is a new beginning we'll, we'll see all this back in the minor arcana now this is the card from the tarot of the sai or she and that is the star and here you can see that she's holding up her hands open to the divine to receive her wish or her goal and the light uh, of the fire taking you have to take action you have to do something 
um, also that the, this is where we've got the water, the spirituality, and uh, the star is on the third eye. So again, opening up your higher self. Um, perhaps you've got another vision, another perspective, and this is how it's translated in that card. And in the uh, Dream Keeper's Tarot, we've got the fish tail, and the fish tail representing water, spirituality, like uh, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Um, again, although it is Aquarius, we've got the moon in the back, and we've uh, got a little rose on our heart, your heart's wish. Um, these are all little signs that you can uh, find back in the cards that's beside the traditional uh, meaning. And th that's why I love to have different cards, because you see different things in different cards. And really, uh, I, uh, I have I personally have been reading cards for more than 46 years and nearly 50 years. Uh, I don't really know because I don't keep track and time of that. I'm bad at uh, keeping track of time. Um, but definitely uh, the water element, the spirituality element is here. So funny enough is my question is why isn't it Pisces um, if it is so much to do with water and with the heart, the heart's wish. Um, it is definitely emotions, um, temptation as well, because she opened the box and she was told not to open the box. I would love to uh, see your reactions on this actually and uh, see what uh, you think. And this is the sort of subject that I would uh, talk about in the live chats uh, on the Zoom that are going to come up pretty soon. But I, uh, I'm, I've left the series for so long and I just wanted to get the, some of the series done. Um, and this is how my brain is stimulated, looking at pictures, different things. Okay, also transformation. These might be the negative uh, in the story, the negative energies that was spread amongst mankind according to the story. But it's all flying creatures, butterflies, dragonflies, uh, mosquitoes. Um, I would say transformation, spread your wings. So this is also something uh, that you can uh, interpret uh, besides the basic meanings of the star card and that is how your intuition grows as well. Well my lovelies take care and I'll see you in the next card which is going to be the moon. Take care, stay safe and be blessed.